Well, happy Easter. What a great day this is. Every Easter morning, he is risen, is heard in languages all over the world. So this morning, we also told that great story of Easter, but we told it from the different voices in the Gospels. Most people think that all four Gospels tell us the same story and they have the same message that Jesus is alive and so we will be alive too after we die. But in fact, each of the Gospels tell a different story and none of them tell that message that Jesus is alive and so we will be alive too. That story's true to be sure and St. Paul makes sure we hear it but it is not heard in the gospel. So this morning, I told the story from Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and I'm going to summarize it now in just a couple of sentences. In Matthew, the story is really about the guards who are protecting the tomb so Jesus is kept inside. Jesus in the gospel of Matthew is believed to be a king. And so the guards are protecting Caesar and Rome from the threat of King Jesus. And on Easter Sunday, an earthquake changes the fortunes of everyone. The guards fall as though dead and Jesus the king is fully alive. So the message of Matthew to believers everywhere then and now is that Jesus is king over all and he is still alive. In Mark, the big story is about the women. The disciples are hardly mentioned at all and the women are so terrified that they cannot speak. All throughout Mark's gospel, when Jesus heals people, he tells them not to tell everyone. Keep quiet, he says, but they go and tell everyone. But in Mark, on Easter Sunday, he tells them to tell everyone, but they go and keep quiet. Fear is the big obstacle. And so the gospel in Mark is that Jesus is not only alive, he's going ahead of you. And there you will see him just like he promised. And so in our world today is in their world at that time. That is wonderful news. We're never leaving Easter behind. We're always stepping into it. Finally, in Luke, it's like a third voice has been added to the ensemble. And in Luke, the big story is about Two disciples that have left Jerusalem because they're disappointed, disillusioned. Really, they're in despair. And so the conflict in the Gospel of Luke is between despair and hope. Jesus comes up behind these two disciples and asks what they're talking about. And as Jesus listens to their story, he takes the part that they know. And all of it's true. And all of it's bad news. And he puts it into the context of a bigger and deeper and more mysterious message, the message of the whole scripture. I think the disciples knew everything Jesus was alluding to, but they couldn't believe it because of all of the things that had just happened. And so the gospel in Luke is for people like us who are this morning afraid and confused. We can't make sense of the facts that we know, and yet we can't deny them. And the gospel on Easter in Luke is that God has a way of taking these things that trouble us and make us run away, and he can bring them into a larger, fuller, deeper, and more mysterious story that changes our fortunes. That's the story that I hope you will share all week with your people. That Jesus is king. There is no king but Jesus. Our loyalty is to him. And Jesus is always ahead of us. We're always stepping into him, not away from him. And he's not only ahead of us, <laughs> he's actually right with us, even when we think he is not. And he's taking these things that trouble us and weaving them into a bigger story. We can recognize him today, even though, like them, we can't see him. As you go out and you meet with people this week or you talk to them or you write them, my 
prayer is that you will carry that hope and that vision, that message, that gospel of Easter.